Hello Techies. In this session, we will learn how to work with copy file action as part of OneDrive for Business. Before going to work with this action, copy file action, let me explain you a small use case. Let me switch to the browser. In my browser, I have logged in successfully into the OneDrive. In my OneDrive, I am having my files where I am having three folders that is destination folder, Microsoft team chart files and Power Automate desktop. If you open Power Automate desktop folder, I am having few files. I need to copy a file, let us assume Power Automate desktop pid.docx into the another folder which is available in the OneDrive. For an example, I want to copy this pid.docx to one of the folder that is destination folder. I want to copy from Power Automate desktop folder to destination folder over here. How can I go ahead and do that by using OneDrive for business actions? First of all, let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of this copy file action is to copy a file within OneDrive from source to destination. If you see the parameters of the copy file action, the first parameter is the file. File is nothing but which file you need to copy from source to destination. Now, I'm going to select a file or folder by using file parameter. And then I'm going to root. The source name is Power Automate Desktop. And then I'm going to select a file that is pid.docx. Now, I want to copy this file that is pid.docs file into the destination file path. What is the destination file path? In our case, if you see, destination folder is my path. Now, I'm going to give in such a way, slash destination folder slash and I have to give this path along with the name. Over here, if you see, I'm having pid.docx, right? Now, I'm going to give it as power document. I will just give it as power document.docx. I'm going to give the destination file path as folder, the destination folder along with the file name. All right. And if you see the another parameter, I'm having override. There are three options that I'm having. One is omit, true and false. Now, if the file is already exist in the particular destination folder in the destination file path, and I have to overwrite it, in that case, I'm going to use true or else if I'm going to use false. If I don't want to do anything, then I will go for the omit, right? Now, I'm going to select true over here. Even if you don't have the file over there, I'm going to use true in a such a way. If the desktop file is running multiple times, then it is going to be overwriting, all right? Now, if I'm going for the advance, I'm having timeout over here. All right, this is the simple way that I'm going to use it. And the output, what are the variables that you are going to get it from the copy file action, all the data will be stored inside my variable produce that is copy drive file response. All right, let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. There if you see, it is trying to copy a file from source folder to destination folder in within the OneDrive. The desktop flow has executed successfully and there you can see PowerDOC.DOCX file has copied from the source folder to destination folder. And the file which is available in the source path that will be the there as is. Let me go back to the source folder that is PowerOutMate desktop. There you can see I'm having the file as PID.DOCX. It is not cut and paste. It will be copy and paste in a layman long way. All right, this is a simple way that we are going to use copy file action. Now, let me double click on the copy file once again. If you see the file path I have given in the pathway, but is there another way that we can go ahead and we can do that? Yes, there is a way over there. By using unique identifier, we can go ahead and we can copy the file to source path to the destination path. How can we go ahead and do that? There, if you see the I button over here, that is information. This is the file that you can give the unique identifier of a file over here. To get the unique identifier, I'm going to use get file metadata. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace before copy file. Now, 
by using this get file metadata we are going to get the different parameters of a particular file in such a way id that is unique identifier path name with no extension name and many things that we will get it as a properties right that is nothing but you will get a metadata of a particular file now i'm going to select the file over here that is from the root power automate desktop is the folder and then i'm going to select pad.docx and then the output will be stored inside my get file metadata response which is having a unique identifier over there all right let me click on save now what are the unique identifier we are going to get from get file metadata i'm going to pass in the copy file action in the file parameter let's double click on that and now i'm going to remove this file and then i'm going to select a variable over here that is get file metadata response dot id this id having a text value so that i'm going to copy the file from here to that is destination folder slash power doc dot docx and overwrite i'm going to make it as true but to make you understand file name i'm going to give it as power documentation dot docx all right let me click on save now if you go back to onedrive and i'm going to destination folder there you can see i don't have power documentation dot docx once you will run the desktop flow related to the copy file action one more file will comes over here with the name of power documentation dot docx all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started at the first action it is trying to get the metadata of a particular file and then by using unique identifier it is going to copy the file from source path to the destination path now let me refresh this folder now if you see power documentation dot docx has successfully copied a few seconds ago by using copy file action now let me elaborate a little more about the copy file over here let's double click on that one now if you see wherever we are going to get it a file parameter you know all our actions which is available in onedrive for business such as get file content get file metadata and all the areas we have given the path like pathway that is power out my desktop slash file name we have given but over here we have given it as unique identifier over here the main thing is that not only you can give the file directly but also to identify the files that you can give the unique identifier also wherever the parameter that you have as a file which is coming from get file metadata action let me click on cancel i hope you understand how to copy a file from source to destination by using copy file action as part of this tutorial